Hello and welcome to this video on the Genvex Combi controller. The controller has seven buttons on it and they're designated K1 to K7 in the user manual. I prefer to refer to them uh, by their use. So K1 is the fan speed button and every time you press that you change the fan speed from one to four. K2 is a boost button a single press will set the fans to fan speed 3 or boost for one hour and every consequent press will double that time right up to 9. Tenth press it will send it back to fan speed 2 which is your normal house ventilation rate. This little button here K3 is the immersion heater button and when I press it the divide sign goes to a plus which means it's active. Let's turn that off again. The next button round is menus. To enter that is a single press and you'll notice that K3 and K5 become navigation buttons up and down and they're also used once we go into a menu and I can show you that in a later video. Let's just exit that for the time being. So that's menus. K5 is uh, the filter reset button. So a single press and hold on that will reset the filter alarm. The next one round is an information button and we can access that and that will tell us what our supply temperature is. Supply is from the machine into your reception rooms. Room temperature is the temperature here at the controller. Fresh air temperature is the outside air temperature exhaust is the temperature that we're exhausting from the building the pre-cooling surface temperature is after the heat exchanger but before the evaporator coil and that is where the cooling surface is in the evaporator coil the next two down domestic water top and bottom are pretty obvious and then t9 usually says minus 30 unless we have a function added to it, an additional sensor for additional heating, say. Uh, if it says minus 30, it means there's no sensor connected and it's not being used. Uh, let's exit that. And finally go to temperature button. Um, you can set the temperature here. You can also do it directly from menus, which is um, button K4. You'll notice now that I've highlighted this that we get a minus and a plus either side of the enter button. So if I wanted to make a change, let's say I want 18.5, we need to press enter to save that change and it goes back to the main screen. I hope you found that useful. Thank you for watching.